So after doing my video where I talk about why I love Cyber Filter, I thought I may as well say screw it, I'll make another one why I love Cyber Filter 2. And I'll get into that after my epic intro. <laughs> In many ways I like the second one more than the first one and in other ways I like the first one more than the second one. The second one I found the gameplay was a lot more fun and the music was, you know, I don't know, I'd, I'd be biased, you know, in ways I like the music better than the second one and there's, there's music in the first night referred over the second one if you know what I mean. But I like them both equally near enough. It's so captivating to play and it's the same game mechanics as the first one with some slight changes. If anything, it's improved. The gameplay is better and I like the way Gabe had, you know, the way it's her is like, has like two strands of her like that there. That was so cool. And they really went all in this time. They had a lot of passion for this game and they made it as good as it can be with what they had. I feel like, you know, there was a lot more that they probably wanted to put into it, but maybe they didn't have time, I'm not sure. It has multiplayer on it as well. It's literally a deathmatch with you and one other person, and you can choose any character you want that's available, and you choose any map as well, and through the main game, you can unlock more characters, more maps from, you know, the first game and the second game. Whenever it's revealed that Chance is the one that's betraying you, a lot of people will say that whenever they play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that was their first uh, experience with betrayal. My first heartbreak betrayal was that Jason Chance. It took me months, you know, to beat that game. Like you really grew to like the guy, especially whenever you were replaying Disc One, the first five or six missions over and over again, because I actually didn't take care of Disc Two at the time. I left it on my counter and I got scratched, and I had to wait maybe a year or so before I was able to buy another copy of the game and have a Disc Two, and then play the rest of the game. In the second game, fun fact, whenever you tase the bad guys, if you tase them long enough, um, when they go on fire, they actually turn black. Whereas in the first game, whenever you tase the bad guys, they don't go black. In the first game, I noticed that whenever, if you if Gabe falls off, if you like jump off somewhere and he falls, he like spins around and gets here. <laughs> but then the second and third games, if you were to jump off somewhere high up, um, he falls like that there, like he's running. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> they changed that around. And all of a sudden, you know, like Simon Filter 2 is four hours after the first game. First game Mar Armor has Urban Her. And the second game it's like blonde. So uh during those four hours of uh, between Simon Filter 1 and 2 she had, she decided, I wanna dye my hair tonight. Maybe just to celebrate the death of Markinson and <laughs> Eric Romer. Because <laughs> she got what she wanted in a way. <coughs> so she is like a triple spy. She looked better in the third game, you know, during the actual cutscenes. Simon Filter 2 picks up Four hours after the ending of the first game, where Gabe Logan and Leon Zing are at the um, the Farcom warehouses, where Gabe stopped the missile uh, from reaching its destination. I'm triggering the missile's detonator now. NATO spy sets are tracking it. There it goes. Thank God, Gabe, you've done it. At this point, CBDC and other armies have arrived as well. Uh, Leon gets kidnapped uh, because she was uh, infected with Siphon Filter and they need like her plasma. There's an epic opening sequence of uh, Gabe when he finds out that Leon is not responding and must be in trouble and he races out to go and get her. And by the time he reaches her it's too late because uh, this other terrorist group has already captured her and took her on board. Ramirez, get these discs into the silo. I'll signal when the landing strip is cleared. Yes sir. Leon? Leon, do you copy? Okay, we have her. No, Logan is still alive. The Russians are here. We're out of time. We'll finish Logan later. So, 
Uh, Gabe now has the data disks uh, containing information about Siphon Filter and uh, the agency uh, can't harm Leon because he has them. If they do anything to her, he can just destroy the data disks or they'll never get them back. Logan, <laughs> your request for aid, it came too late, yes? They've taken her. Uh, I am sorry. She and I are old friends. They would kill her? As long as I have the discs, the agency won't harm her. Gabe's going to try and use that as a bargaining chip. You know, he'll give them like the data discs if they hand over Leon Zing, I think. But at the same time, if they get the data discs, they can use that, you know, to create more havoc and destruction of the virus. So it's, he's in a predicament. They're in a, a plane, Gabe and these GI soldiers, and they're flying over the Colorado Rocky Mountains. And it gets shot down by another terrorist group. The same ones it took Leon, and uh, Gabe manages, along with it, several GI crew members, to jump out, parachute down, and they land over the Rocky Mountains. Coming down the hard way! And they're all scattered all over the place, and Gabe basically just spends the entire time uh, trying to find them all. The terrorist group have found out exactly where they are, that they all survived, and is out to kill them all and make life hell for Gabe Logan. And there's a reason why they know where he is and what he's doing, because there's a traitor among Gabe's men. That's revealed later on. So Gabe basically gathers you know, what he needs uh, to try and get off the mountain and gather his men. But in the process, because his men, you know, weren't equipped for uh, that this type of mission, they're all wearing fucking t-shirts and trousers. You know, Gabe's wearing what looks like a wetsuit. Like they're probably freezing their asses off. And one of his men even has a broken leg. Kowalski, how's the leg? Definitely broken, sir. Two places. Pretty sure. I don't think I can support my weight. All right. I want you men to stay here. Find cover if you can. And then. You know, a lot of them get killed because of the guys that are coming after them, the spooks they're called, and they're all geared up and have assault rifles, whereas most of Gabe's men just have, you know, 9mm handguns, and some of them have M16s. But they're very, you know, under-equipped. They don't have what they need to survive right there. And a lot of them, you know, they're killed like flies. Watch your back, Gabe. They've got a convoy on the way up there now and have mobilized a couple squadrons of spook air commandos. They'll be dropping in on you any minute. Sir, behind you! I'll get him! Get out of here! Now! Gabe, how you doing out there? Not good. We're under heavy fire. I've lost six men already. What are you gonna do? I'm not gonna let any more of these men die on this mountain. Out. So, uh, Gabe manages to, you know, try and save as many as he can, maybe like two or three of them. Ramirez, you stay here with Ferguson. Arm yourselves and you should be safe. As soon as I find a clear way to the highway, I'll come back for you. Yes, sir. I'll be fine, sir. Okay. Hang on. It won't be long. Sorry, Logan. If it were up to me, I'd let you live. Agency orders. Sure you would. There's a couple of secrets in the first level when you get to the mountains. Whenever you parachute down, make sure you go to where the GI soldiers are. Make sure you stay out high in the air. If you can land on top of that there, you can get a, a powerful weapon. Another secret is when you read first meet chance, there's a waterfall, right? If you go to the edge of that there, you climb down, you find a secret cave. You will also get the same weapon, but in doing so, you will also unlock a secret level for multiplayer. You can find the taser. If you go to the area we meant to, to use the transporter locator, if you climb down this part here, you'll find another box. These are all the boxes that were scattered, gave throughout, whenever the plane was being destroyed. Got it. After that there, you go on to the next mission. 
where you play as Leon Zing for the first time in the series. You're at the Mackenzie Air Base. Leon basically pretends that she's still passed out and she stabs the doctor with the needle. She's gonna try and bind her gear and get the hell out of there. Let's see, two bags of plasma ought to be enough. You won't feel a thing. Yeah! No, you're the one who won't feel a thing. <coughs> okay. Now let's find my gear. I wonder if I first played this level, I literally um ran out and was killed by the uh, GI soldiers that were there um, thinking they were the bad guys <laughs> you know and it's funny because like, whenever you see the GI soldiers later on and uh, whenever you're in the exterior of the facility uh, the GI soldiers won't shoot you even though you're you know wearing your gear and you've got your weapons and all they don't shoot you but whenever you're in like the hospital gown like they will shoot you <laughs> you know I think maybe that's a, an error that they made uh, back then that you know they maybe should have switched that around They'll shoot you if you're wearing a nightgown, but they don't shoot you whenever you get your gear and you're holding guns. The, the GI soldiers, like, they're not necessarily the bad guys. As far as they know, you're a terrorist. You're able to escape that level because one of the GI soldiers realizes that he overhears a conversation that uh, the um, terrorist leader is having and he clocks on that something just isn't right. And he realizes that Leon, you know, maybe not a terrorist that's just made out to be. After she gets her gear, he helps her uh, escape through a window. Gabe? Are you there? Uh, Gabe? Uh, Leon, are you okay? Uh, running on an adrenaline booster right now. Winding down fast. He was right about Fagan. They were keeping him alive, incubating some new strain of the virus. Probably the same strain I'm infected with. They must have injected us both while we were imprisoned in the catacombs. Oh my god. I'm sure that's why they brought me here. <coughs> Okay, <coughs> I'm going to get a chopper, and I'm going to get out of here. Alright, hold it, miss. Stop right there. You don't understand. I'm not a prisoner. You don't know who these men are. You're right, I don't know who they are, but I know they're not from FEMA. Over here. I overheard two of them. They're planning to kill you. You can get out here. Thanks. If you're trying to get to the airfield, it's southwest of here. I'll check in at the security office and cover your absence as long as I can. Good luck. You're taking a huge risk, Airman. I took an oath to uphold the law. Who are these people, CIA, NSA? Not exactly. You don't have much time. Good luck. Thanks again. After that level, you're back over with Gabe Logan in the Rocky Mountains again, only this time you're on like a highway. You got caught in a blast uh, by a helicopter. He survived, but he lost all his weapons and all. This level was funny <laughs> because um, I was doing it wrong for a very long time and at <laughs> no point did I pay attention to the cutscene. Basically what happens here is that um, uh, Chance will stand up on a ledge and he will create a distraction by shooting the enemies and taunting them <clears throat> and Gabe will hide you know beside the tunnel where the enemies will run past him and the plan is like Gabe will go into the tunnel where the bad guys are and sneak into one of the trucks and grab you know weapons and ammo and armor everything that he needs and then go back out and kill the other two guys that are fighting with chance this is crazy a whole convoy of troops moving up the highway how are we gonna get out of here we're not unless we get some gear I lost everything in the rock slide what are you backing an M16, but I'm low. There's a bunch of supply trucks in the tunnel. I saw them back up like crazy when the road collapsed. Okay, here's what we do. You move across the road and create a diversion. I'll get into the tunnel and find a supply truck. When I'm armed, I'll come back and get you. Hey, you want some of this? There, get him! On that wall, go, go! Get moving, I can hold him. Orders are to wait here for Logan. What do we do then? We kill him. Chance, I've made it to the truck. I'm grabbing some ammo and I'll be back there in a minute. About time. Get back here. I'm almost out of ammo. Just hold him a little longer. That was close. 
I told you you'd do fine. Now listen, the tunnel's gonna be crawling with troops, so stay with me and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. What I did, whenever, um, <laughs> Chance is distracting them, you, all you have on you is your knife. And I would go up and I would knife the two guys and take their weapons and they'd run into the tunnel. Uh, <coughs> completely defeating the purpose. And Chance is like, hey, that's not part of the plan. I'm coming to die. <laughs> and it was only one day I decided to take a notion. Let's go into the tunnel first, see what happens. And then I realized, oh, that's what you're meant to do. Because if you go and kill those guys first and then go into the tunnel, you only get maybe a quarter or half of the uh, ammo that you know and weapons that you would have got had you followed the original plan. There's like five or six guys coming up the tunnel and they're all wearing flak jackets. Right next to them is a, a truck and uh, Gabe has like a flamethrower and you get to burn all these guys alive. <laughs> I think they are then for the lulz. Damn it, they've all got flak jackets. I hope you've got a plan. Stay low. Gabe, behind you! And then after that, there, whenever you reach the end of the tunnel, Chance notices that there's something not quite right. They just see uh, another truck, and there's one guard out there. And it's more Chance is like, you know, does that seem right to you? And Logan says, um, yeah, that seems right for an ambush. So basically, it's a trap. Whenever the enemy hears a gunfire from Gabe or Chance, then an ambush will happen. And if you shoot, if you do shoot, you can choose to shoot the guy and try and make your way to the very end. It is possible, I think. But um, you'll have all these snipers and all coming at you and they're going for headshots right away. It's actually better if you just take your time, be patient, knife them all. And you can make your way to the very end if you just time it right and learn the enemy's movements. Sometimes, again, like I did in the first game, when I reached the end at all, I just fire off a gun anyway. And then the snipers uh, do come out, but by the time they come out, I'm already at the tunnel. <laughs> I just do that to, to piss them off, even though they're just NPCs and have any real emotions. There's just one guard out there. Does that seem right to you? Yeah, it seems right. For an ambush. That's what I was thinking. What do we do? Stay back. I'll let you know when it's safe to move up. Move. Now. Move up to the next truck. What's the story with this Logan guy? An agent, I think. Whose? Ours. Move up. You okay? Yeah, let's get out of here. And then you come across these two tanks. Chance realizes there's no way they're gonna get past them. Damn! There's two APCs sitting in the middle of the roadway. They'll cut us! And if you do try to run out in front of these tanks, you'll be dead within two seconds. There's no point, no chance, don't, don't bother. Chance creates a diversion where he pretends to be Gabe and the soldiers come out. And what you're meant to do is go to the other truck, grab grenades. Explosives. We found gear in trucks before. Yeah, great. You got an idea how I'm gonna search a truck without taking a couple of dozen slugs? There's no escape, Logan. Come out with your hands in the air. Hold your fire! I'm coming out! Are you crazy? Get back here! You got a better idea? No matter what happens, stick to the plan, find some explosives, and take out that power room. You! Stay down! This isn't Logan. Where's Logan? Oh! You run down into uh, one of the other rooms where all the electricity is. You throw a grenade in there, blow the thing up, and it cuts out the power. Power's out, Gabe. It worked. I can't see five feet in front of me, but I hear plenty of voices. Lots of spooks walking around out here. All right. I want you to pull back, find someplace safe, and hide there. I'll send back help when I can. Gabe, what if those APCs have IR gear? They don't. If they did, we wouldn't be talking. Roger. Don't forget about me, man. So Gabe puts on his invisible night vision goggles that you can't see. The enemy can't see in the dark, but they'll be able to hear you. Uh, you'll be able to slip past them. Everyone down! There's Logan. The next mission, you guys have a new bridge, and the problem with this bridge is that it's rigged with bombs. 
you have like a couple of minutes before those bombs go off, before the commander gives the, the word to detonate the bombs. When the charges are set, I'm gonna call for an evac of the bridge and then we blow it. Until then, everyone keep watch for Logan. Out. If the enemy sees you at any point while the bombs are active, they'll blow up the bridge. The problem is, Gabe needs that bridge to remain intact so that all the other GI soldiers can escape. If that goes, then they're stuck there and, you know, the nerve gas will kill them. The way I did this here, I skipped the cutscene and didn't read the information properly in the briefing. And I ended up, you know, just knifing the guy and I didn't know what to do. With the time I tried to disarm all the bombs, the two minutes was up. I didn't realise that, you know, if you go to the truck and pick up this gas grenade, and I would just throw it around the nearest enemy I could, not realising that you're meant to use that gas grenade to kill the commander at the front. Because with him dead, he's not there to give the word. To blow up the bridge. All the other troops don't know when exactly the bridge is meant to be blown up. It's meant to be blown up within two minutes time. Um, for all they know it could have been half an hour. So they're just waiting for the word but with him dead that buys you all the time you need to go and kill the rest of the enemies and disarm the bombs. What's going on back up the road? Blue team caught a couple GI hero wannabes. They're questioning them right now. <laughs> They're not going to last long. It's Logan. Blow the bridge now. Take a chance. The charges are dead. And then after that there, you come across two other GI soldiers that have been held hostage. And there's a way you have to, you have to time it right. If you shoot one spook, and you don't kill the Osprey in time, he'll just kill one of the GI soldiers and both the GI soldiers have to survive. You have one spook down here, another spook walking up and down, he's pacing, and two GI soldiers on their knees, hands over their heads. Whenever the spook does the pacing, whenever he stands literally right next to the other spook for a second, fire, kill him and the guy behind him. And your GI soldiers are like, what the hell? And you've saved them. Why don't you just kill us now, you shut up? <laughs> Is that all you got? I said shut up. Ramirez, where's Ferguson? Ferguson bought it on the mountain. All right, stay with me and stay close. It's gonna be tight getting out of here alive. Teresa, I'm past the bridge. Give me a route. Just east of you is the rail line. Follow it south. It cuts directly through the mountains to the crash site. Then after that there, you're taking them to up at the end of the tunnel. All these armored trucks are coming down, like in waves of enemies, and you basically have to take them all out and make sure the two GI soldiers survive. Whenever you reach the end of that tunnel, you come across another bridge and there's a railway underneath it, there's a train passing through. Another helicopter shows up and blows the bridge up. I think one of the guys dies and Ramirez, I think it's Ramirez, survives. Gabe manages, well, I don't know how he does it, Gabe manages to make his way onto the train. He lands on the train, unharmed, unscathed. Okay, I'm leaving you guys here. I left Chance back in the first tunnel. I want you to get him and get off this mountain. Will do. Radio me when you get to a safe place. I'll try to Look get- Look out! The next level, you're back with Leon again. Uh, it literally picks up after she got out the window. You basically are just trying to escape the facility. Teresa, I'm out of the holding complex. Finding a chopper to hit your ride on should be a piece of cake. She overhears conversations with the terrorist groups. They're gonna like carpet bomb the mountain with nerve gas. Sir, the F-22 is refueled and ready for takeoff, but the payload you're waiting for hasn't gotten here yet. Your pilot seemed anxious that I tell you. That'll be all, Airman. Wise Leon is there and she's like ill from the virus. It is slowly killing her. She decides to take action, kills one of the pilots that's actually going to nuke the mountains. It buys Gabe more time to try and get off the mountain before they do that there. Leon, I've confirmed it with Gabe. The agency is going to carpet bomb the mountain with nerve gas. You've got to stop him. I know. I'm going to take out that pilot and sabotage the plane. That should buy Gabe enough time to get off the mountain with any GIs he can save. Right. I'll let him know. Out. No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, I have the transport's location, and the tower has cleared me. I'm still waiting for the payload. 
Evidently, Holman had trouble getting it through the main gates. I'm told it's on its way now. Teresa, radio Gabe and tell him I'm almost clear. He may have a ride yet. You better hurry or he's not going to need one. He's catching a train. What? I'll explain later. ETA on the chopper? I'm on my way to the tower now. What's the holdup on that F-22 payload? It should be there. I cleared it through the gates myself. Well, let's go see what's holding them up. No! Understood. Get to that other airstrip pronto and check on that F-22 personally. Then get over to the infirmary and see what's holding up that medic. He should be finished with her soon. Right. Should I wait here? Okay, you get the other chopper cleared and ready for takeoff. Oh! oh. Hello, Holman. Standard silence, HK-5. Good. Remember me? Leon, you escaped. Thank God. <laughs> Don't even try. I know what you're planning. No, I was trying to stall them, trying to find a way to get you <laughs> off the base without... You just loaded two missiles with sarin gas payloads into an F-22 meant for the survivors of a plane crash. No, that's not true. You're I... a liar, Holman. And not a very good one. Another agency course you failed in training? You want to beg for your life? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! I'm dying, Holman. Oh! Oh! Siphon filter is killing me and I am running out of patience. You have no idea what you're involved in. Maybe you'll learn if you live long enough. I'd suggest not going into work tomorrow. Your boss might not be as forgiving as I am. Blah, you know, Leon is able to steal one of the helicopters and fly out of the Mackenzie Airbus and she heads over to the Rocky Mountains where Gabe is. Holman, where are you? Check in. Sir, should I send someone for him? No, that won't be necessary. He's just a world-class screw-up. Sir, Agent Holman has not checked in yet. The F-22 has been cleared for takeoff, priority one. Personnel have not seen it leave the hangar yet. Agent Falcon, your chopper is cleared for immediate departure. The F-22 is not cleared its hangar yet. If your other agent is at the airstrip, you can fly directly there and pick him up. All right. <coughs> I've got a transponder frequency of the downed plane. Now all you need is that ride. I think the agency's provided for me on that one. Falcon's chopper is cleared for takeoff. If I stop him, I can take the chopper and no one's the wiser. <coughs> nice plan. Good luck. All right, I'm through waiting. You stay here. When Agent Holman arrives, tell him to contact me directly and I'll give him further instructions. Yes, sir. Teresa, I've got a ride and clearance all the way to the crash site. GSAT's reporting a huge fire, probably caused by the crash, but who knows. Thick smoke is shutting down all flights into the area, so be careful. <coughs> well, considering what those guys could have been breathing, a little smoke won't hurt him. Patch me through to Gabe and wish me luck. You got it. So you're on the train. You have to run to the very front of the train and you have to stop it. The helicopter hit the ones that are in it, seeing Gabe land on the train, they know he's alive. And what they really do want him dead. They want him dead big time. So they drop all the troops off along the train so that the, as Gabe's making his way to the front, they can try and take him out. But Gabe, just, you know, being the iconic gunman that he is, uh, kills them all. <laughs> Archer, have you taken care of Logan? Not yet. We're working on it. He's proving troublesome. I want him finished, even if you have to blow up the whole state to do it. We're on it. Out. Get some men down there. I want him taken out now. Gabe, are you there? Leon, you okay? It's about time you checked in. <laughs> I've been better. My adrenaline shot is wearing off, but I've got enough strength to come and get you. All right. I'm almost at the crash site now. Once we have those data disks, we can bargain with the agency for your vaccine. <laughs> I'm on the way. Fire up! Whenever you beat that level, uh, there's a cutscene place and some idiot spook uh, terrorist has a grenade and he throws one at Gabe and rightfully so, Gabe calls him an idiot because when he threw the grenade, he threw it at a part of the train where there was like fuel or so in it. 
um, it actually blow, when it blows up, it splits the train in half. This part of the train is just gone, derailed, and the guy that was on it is freaking dead. <laughs> and uh, Gabe uh, manages to jump out of, away from the blast again. The helicopter manages to fly ahead of the train and they find the next bridge that's going to come across and they decide to blow it up and Gabe realises, oh shit, Leon arrives and she's flying the helicopter. The plan is that for Gabe, whenever he reaches the front of the train, he's going to leap from the train right onto the helicopter and it's just so badass the way he does it and it's such a fun level to play as well. Leon, I've made it to the engine but this train isn't going to stop in time. Time for that backup plan. Right. I'm in position now. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. So the next level after that there is whenever you reach the C-130 crash site. That's where Gabe, you know, uh, that finds where the, uh, the plane that he was on that had the data disks. He didn't get time to lift the data disks and take them off at the start of the game. He has to go through the wreckage site, go through all the parts of the plane to find the data disks. And at that point, Archer and his men, his highly trained professional skilled men, are also there, they've beat him to it, where they're already looking for it, but they haven't found it yet. The transport crashed into this box canyon, but I'm not going to be able to get this bird in there. Archer's bringing in his elite hit squad. Climb to 4,000 feet. They're going to be expecting me to come in from the north, where the tracks cut into the canyon. But I've got a better idea. You're going to jump? I'm getting good at it. I'll parachute through the smoke right on top of them. It's the one thing they won't expect. Gabe, those are likely Archer's best men down there. Try to keep your head down, okay? Right. So Gabe arrives, gets drop on them, kills them all. Hey, look up there! Logan, we need some backup. Sorry, we need some assistance now. Logan's here. And then finds the discs. Well, finds the box that they were contained in, but Archer already has them on them. Gabe is like, damn it. So at this point, uh, Archer has all his men, and they literally just give Gabe everything that they've got. Also, if you complete the C-130 crash site wreckage level within like two or three minutes, you unlock another secret and you're not allowed to shoot Archer with the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle is a lot more effective to kill him with, but if you use the M16, you know, you've got him and you'll have that. Logan! Looking for these? Damn it! Move in now! Get some snipers on that south ridge! Archer is hanging on to a helicopter. He didn't get time to jump into the helicopter. He's hanging on it like that there because he's so desperate to get away from Gabe. And he underestimated Gabe's aiming. You're going to use your sniper rifle or you can use your M16 and you can shoot him in the head or legs. He's wearing a flak jacket as well. You have to kill him before the helicopter properly takes off. And then he falls down. Gabe gets the discs off him. Leon swoops down, picks him up, that's the mission over, and that's the end of disc one. Got it. So long, Archer. Need a lift? Got the discs. Let's go get Chance and the rest of the survivors. Teresa lost radio contact with them an hour ago. I don't think anyone else made it, Gabe. <coughs> Let's get out of here before we lose you too. Disc 2, you go to the Farcom Exposition Center, you went there in the first game as well, and Gabe is wearing a new outfit that he didn't wear before, uh, he's dressed as a ninja, which is pretty cool. Just like the previous game in that level, there's stealth and no stealth. All the other terrorists are there, and you, you can kill them, but the GI soldiers that you would have met earlier in the game, when you're the always escaping the facility, you can't kill them because they generally are good guys, and they're just followers, and they don't know who Gabe is. I mean, imagine if you're doing security, and you see some guy dressed as a ninja coming, you know, you're going to obviously gun him down, isn't it true? 
We were right. The NSA has shut down the entire exposition center. They're using regular army to box the place up. They've got guards patrolling everywhere. I'll have to be careful. Don't want to kill any innocents. Sure you don't need any help? You stay with Teresa. I'll stay out of their way. Hold on. So you can either use your crossbow. The crossbow has like a tranquilizer on the or the other taser. Not the air taser, the taser where you just knock them out. If you go to one of the washing machines and pick up the grainy mag, uh, you don't see the mag actually, but that's what it is, the game picks up. You unlock another secret level for multiplayer as well. Hey, come here and take a look at this. She's hot. Is this last month's issue? Yep. I don't think anyone will miss this, do you? Got it. After that there, you have to fight Morgan. He was the guy that uh, organized uh, the kidnapping of Leon again. Short circuit the gates now. You're cut off, Morgan. It's just you and me. Give yourself up, Logan. Stevens wants you to come in. He wants to sit down and discuss things with you and Leon Zing. I know what Stevens wants. You had her and you lost her. You always were second-rate, Morgan. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see. Morgan has planted, you know, bombs all around the museum exhibit. Teresa joins in. Teresa has to go and disarm all these bombs. And whenever you see Morgan, you actually can't shoot him because he's carrying a dead man switch. It's one of those switches where um, he's holding on to it. Uh, you kill him, and he lets go of it. All the bombs go off. That's why you have to disarm all the bombs first. And you always love the way Teresa did that roll. Jumps down. In real life, you probably break your neck or fracture your skull. Hey, boss. What are you doing here? <laughs> Thought you could use the help. I gave you an order to pull back. After this is over. After this is over. Gotcha. Okay, you take care of the bomb. I'll take care of Morgan. Got it. And Gabe, when you spot Morgan, don't kill him. He's carrying a dead man switch. And if he drops it while any bombs are armed, we'll all die. So wait for my signal before you take him out. Morgan's heading east. I'm on him. Thought you were faster than that, Logan. I found the bomb. Copy. I'm on my way. He's in here! Let him go, Gabe. I need you to watch my back. There. Gabe, we gotta stop Morgan before he sets any more bombs. I've got him in here! Hurry! Gabe, I can tell from the solenoid this is the last bomb in the chain. It might take a little longer to defuse. I'll keep Morgan busy. Let me know when you've got it. You can't kill me, Logan. This place is wired to the teeth, and all I need to do is release this switch. Gabe, keep him talking. Don't kill him until this bomb is defused or he'll drop the detonator. You know, it's not too late, Logan. The agency can still use you. Throw down your weapons, Logan. I think you'll find that we can work this out at everyone's benefit. Gabe, final bomb defused. Take it! There's not going to be much of an agency after you get through with them. That's right. Leon, we've got the discs. We're on our way out now. You're playing as Leon again. You go to a disco and Leon dressed as if she's going clubbing, which is a new look for her. It's weird seeing this guy dressed as a freaking... He actually is a colonel and he's going to a nightclub wearing his uniform and dancing around. Mara arrives in the dance floor and she tries to kill him and Leon uh, tries to save him and he runs away. Leon shouts over to him, you know, uh, she can't understand why he's running the way because you know the two of them have been friends for many years and <clears throat> at this point the russian police are involved and they think you're a terrorist as well uh they don't know who you are and you have to you know avoid them you can't kill them you can kill all the bodyguards they're all the bad guys there they think they're like mars men or so
Gabe? Teresa. Aramov's here, and I think she's gonna try to kill Gregorov. Gabe? Come on, where are you guys? Кто против кого? Кто знает? Григоров совсем скупит, это я думаю. Выходите по одному, держите оружие над головой. Или вас строим огонь. Да, я окружено. Вы выходите перекрытым. Ну что нам-то делать? Как обычно, запомним задание то же самое. They're blocking my way out, and I'm going to lose Gregorov if I don't get outside. I can't get fire on these guys. They're just cops doing their job. I need backup here. I'm on! Leon, come in. Gabe? Teresa? Where are you? It's a trap, Leon. Get out. We're under heavy fire. Are you okay? Where are you? Never mind. Just get out of here. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I'm heading out of the building now. As soon as we find Gregorov, we'll have some answers. After that, you make your way on the streets. And you're still chasing your Gregorov, but then all the bodyguards are like, you know, trying to go after you and kill you. Gregorov! Gabe, I see him. After that there you're in the park and this is whenever the game can get more difficult because the soldiers really are going for you this time and uh, they'll go for headshots. Here's another secret I know, um, whenever you play this level, if you get to that car you unlock another secret level in multiplayer but you have to be very quick because they're for some reason they're shooting at that car and you have like 10 seconds to kill the guy first before he does it because the car explodes you don't get what the car has and you can't unlock the secret level. Whenever you get through this park, Yuri Gregorov is literally just having off of being chased and decides to, uh, you know, take on Leon. So basically what you have to do in order to defeat him, if he sees you, it's instant headshots. So you have to shoot all the lights so it's in the dark and Leon also puts on her invisible night vision goggles and you basically have to sneak up behind Yuri Gregorov and tease him. Stop hiding and face me! I've cornered Gregorov. He's not going down without a fight but we need to keep him alive. You read? 
Thank you, it's over. Oh my god. I've got Gregorov. On the way. Gabe, I know why Gregorov's been acting so strange. Why is that? Miss Lianzing, I'm Vladimir Nidobry of the SVR. I'm afraid you must come with us. But this isn't who you think it is. This isn't Yuri Gregorov. He's an imposter. Yes, we know. The real Yuri Gregorov is being held in an Algar prison. It's a women's prison that was meant to have been shut down in the 70s, but it's still going. Uh, Gabe said that he would go. Leon, she managed to convince Gabe that she knows the way in and the way out, because she was held there as well. She managed to escape years ago. He has finally broken. Grigoriev is being held at point 36. <sighs> point 36. What is point 36? Point 36 is a women's gulag in Siberia. It's located in the city of Kazakh, Russian for white tomb. You mean Algier prison? What? Built during the Stalinist purges to house the wives and mothers of political dissidents. It was shut down by Khrushchev in 54. Supposedly. But it wasn't. I haven't read about it. I've been there. I was held there eight years ago after being captured in Afghanistan. My first assignment for the PRC. Before the agency recruited me. We have to break him out. You do not have much time. They have already ordered his execution. Grigoriev will die in the electric chair tomorrow night at midnight. I'll go in. No, you're not strong enough to. I have to do this, Gabe. It's Please? my life at stake if we don't get the other half of the FARCOM data. And it's my people who will die if Shi Hao gets phase two of the siphon filter virus. Besides, I'm the only one who knows the layout of the prison. Okay, he's yours. I hope you know what you're doing. Won't be long now. We're at the rendezvous point. It's all clear here. I'm making my way to the lower power room now. When I get there, I'll shut it down. This is a long, slow paced stealth mission where, as Leon, you have a taser and you have to go in. You have to use the taser and knock them all out because she doesn't have a 9mm equipped with a silencer. She couldn't just borrow Gabe for some reason. The alarm goes off, the whole place goes in the lockdown, you're trapped, and all the guards are coming in and you can't do anything about it. So you have to reach the power room. <laughs> Дай воды, пожалуйста. Yuri Gregorov is about to be executed. He's sitting in the chair. I think they're going to electrocute him. And you basically have to shut the power down, which means that they can't execute Yuri Gregorov. The alarm does go off, but at that point, um, all the cell blocks and all are open, and all the prisoners are out. They're running and escaping, they're all being slaughtered. And some of them have actually, you know, took weapons and they're fighting back against the bad guys. Uh, some of them are just batshit insane, and who would blame them after the way they've treated her? Like, they've had their heads shaved and everything, and they're all being starved and dehydrated, neglected, abused. Идите посмотрите, что случилось с электричеством. Там заваруха! Сваливать надо! You basically get Yuri Gregorov, they roughed him up, they beat him up quite a bit, and you basically have to protect him and kill the other guards. Mara? Gregorov! The unseen! Gregorov! What was Mara doing here? Yes, Mara Aremov. Yes, she was here to witness the execution. But when the power went out, she killed the guards. I do not understand. Neither do I, Yuri. <coughs> There's no time. We're going over the wall. I have two tanks of air at the bottom of the river. Yes, I am ready. But you do not look so well, Lian Xing. What I'm is I'm fine, the... I'm fine. I'll tell you all about it when we get out of here. Let's go. Yuri, <coughs> can you fight? No, I am too weak. The beatings. Got it. <coughs> look, I want you to stay behind me. Move only when I tell you. Understood? Da. Clear! Yuri! Move up! No! <coughs> Yuri! 
all clear. <coughs> Damn it. Leon, you're not going to be able to save everyone. Stay focused on the mission. <coughs> right. Out. I hear a lot of action on the other side of that door. The riot must have spilled into that cell block. <coughs> Wait here while I check it out. Snipers! Pull back! <coughs> There's at least a dozen snipers along the wall in there. We're gonna have to find another way out. There is no other way. Then we're in trouble. Maybe this will help. Smoke grenade? Where did you... I found <coughs> it on the dead guard. Alright. Here's the plan. When I give the word, throw the grenades and close your eyes, hold your breath, and run like hell. I'm gonna be right behind you. Don't stop till you get through the block. You got it? Da. Ready? Okay. Throw it now. Uh. Go! Why did you stop? The security gate is closed. Can you shoot the lock from here? A good shot. Now it's all. Whenever you get halfway through that level, um, he feeds a lot better. He's able to use a gun. He comes in more handy because he's able to fight back and give you an extra hand. Here. <coughs> Take this. I, I think you're strong enough to fight now. Just stay with me. We're almost out of here. I will be right behind you. Behind us! At the very end of that level, you have the option, it's better again if you go stealthily, but you have to get past the guards and jump over the wall to escape like them knowing. But you can choose to go in guns blazing and slaughter them all. It's just easier if you went by stealthily. And they're all on high alert. The whole place is on lockdown. Alright, we've got to make it up to that wall. <coughs> Stay close. We're almost out of here. <coughs> Are you alright? <coughs> Don't worry about me. Are you ready? Very well. I move when you move. Заключённая во внутреннем дворе. Грегоров, move! Game. <coughs> Be ready for pickup. We're about to get wet. Right. Gabriel Logan, we meet again. Gabe. Glad I, to see you alive. I can't breathe. Leon. Leon Singh. Gabe makes a bargain with Lyle Stevens. He gets ejected. He gets knocked out. Gabe knew this was going to happen. He dresses up as one of the scientists. Walks around the lab because he's trying to find a vaccine for Leon. Put him through. Logan, this is Lyle Stevens. I've been expecting you. Stevens? Doesn't sound familiar, but then I never could tell one pencil neck admin from another. We want you and Leon to come in. We have much to discuss. I don't think so, Stevens. I'd already decided to quit when my old boss tried to kill me. Having my transport plane shot out of the sky pretty much sealed the if deal. If you bring her in now, we can still save her life. What do you want? An even trade. Leon's vaccine for the discs. Accepted. Logan. Stevens. This is Dr. Weisinger, our chief medical officer and biologist. She will be preparing the vaccine. You'll never see the vaccine, but let me show you how to give an injection. First, you immobilize the arm and You'll then You'll never inject. find her, Stevens. You'll... Take him to the security room OR. Let me know when he's ready. Mmm, looks like that lab coat might just fit me. Uh, it's a whole, you know, it's another establishment where um, you can't go near the scientists because they'll recognize you and they think you're a terrorist. You can't kill them because they are bastards. And then you bump into one of your comrades who was on the mountain with the mirrors and he tells Gabe the chances of that. And then Gabe goes and finds him. And basically Gabe uh, releases Chance and then Chance goes uh, to release your mirrors. And Gabe basically uh, finds Dr. Elsa Weisinger and uh, he manages to force her to give him the vaccine for Leon. At that point, um, Lyle Stevens has discovered that Gabe Logan uh, is um, 
not in captivity anymore. The alarm is set off, and at that point, Gabe ditches the scientist disguise. I've grabbed him an extra lab coat and badge. It should help me get where I need to go. Roger that. I'll try to monitor your location. Be careful. You keep the section secure while I find a body bag for Logan's corpse. Yes, sir. Hey, man. I'm sick. I need some help here. Shut up. Soon it'll all be over. You won't have to worry about a thing. Oh my god! You're Logan! Please, don't hurt me! I just work here! I'm not responsible! I don't make policy! I do. Ramirez, you made it off the mountain. Anyone else? Only Chance and me. Chance? Where is he? I don't know. They're holding him somewhere else. Okay, you hold tight here. I can't get you out yet. When I find Chance, I'll send him back for you. Yes, sir. I found the synthesis lab. Leon's vaccine. I wish it were that easy, Gabe. The lab is sealed, so you gotta find another way in. What the hell? Who are you? Don't touch the phone, Gershon, or I'll break your arm. Who are you? What are you doing here? Heating duct repairman. I need to get to the central data room and you're gonna be my escort. Set off any alerts and I'll kill you. Let's go. You'll never get out of here alive, Logan. Give yourself up now and spare us all the headaches. All the headaches. Shut up and do what I say. Data console's over there. Help yourself. Right. On your knees, face the wall. I'm downloading the agency's security files. What have you got? The chief physician is a woman named Elsa Weisinger. You find her, you'll have the vaccine. Okay, keep downloading data as long as you can. I'll keep the file- Hey you! What are you doing over there? Stop! Damn it! Gabe! Thank God. They were shooting me up with some kind of drug. What the hell kind of place is this, Gabe? There's no time. I have a chopper outside a half mile away. Here are its coordinates. Take this, and get to the security room and free Ramirez. Get up to the street any way you can and wait for me at the chopper. Thanks, Logan. You saved my ass again. Just move. The virus started, of course, as a potent bioweapon. But as you can see, we have progressed far beyond that. Think of it as a supercomputer, a nanomachine that can be programmed on a genetic level. Incredible! This is just the beginning. The siphon filter virus is the next millennium. With the virus as a delivery system, no cell is immune. Cancer cells will become a thing of the past. Here, look at these slides while I go get the matrix data. I'll be right back. Dr. Weisinger, how good to see you again. You don't need a gun. I'm not very dangerous. Not unless you've got a needle full of poison. I want the vaccine for Leon Zing. Now! How did you get past lab security? Never mind, of course you got by security. Steven set it up after all. Just give me the vaccine. Here, take it. It's too late, you know. The virus will already have begun to... Lastly, when she's more desperate to check down Logan than Archer was, uh, because he sends in all these men, and they're all wearing Kevlar armor, which is like full body armor from head to toe, and the only way to take them out is to use a grenade launcher, or throw grenades at them. Your 9mm M16 shotgun won't even put a dent in their body armor. There's also another secret in that level, you have to make sure you have enough ammo, grenade launchers and grenades on you, to pull this off, and you have to be very quick, there's a lot of rolling to do, to avoid headshots, because they're going for headshots, every one of them, near enough, and you have to, if you manage to get the uh, grenade launcher, you open another secret level for the multiplayer, another character even, you make your way back to where Ramirez was, and you find him dead. So Gabe makes his way to the, the elevator, and uh, the power has been cut. So what he does, he can't get the elevator to come down, so he opens the doors and then he climbs onto the, the cable wires for the elevator and climbs, makes his way up to the very top, and then he's able to escape the uh, the Farcom lab complex that way, and he's out in the streets. Your men had better stop. Get the emergency defense squad down there now. Are you all right? Don't worry about me. Stop Logan. He has Leon Singh's vaccine. You can't let him escape. We'll stop him. Out. Idiot. Yeah, you've been doing such a good job so far. I understand. Good. All right, get Unit 1 and get out there. I want that chopper. Get this door open now!
These guys are wearing full armor. I can't hit them. That's bad. The agency has a lot of bodies here in cold storage. I'd like to get a list of these toe tags and check them against missing persons. Important people who just disappeared. Plane crashes where bodies weren't recovered. People vanish all the time. Keep an eye out. The agency is mobilized. I'm sure they're out looking for you by now. How long are you going to be? I'm almost out of the lab complex now. Be there soon. In the van! I've reached a dead end here. I'm going to have to go back. I need you to find me another exit route. Can't do it, Gabe. This is the only clear way out. There should be a vent below you. Can you make it? Only one way to find out. Ramirez. Damn it, Chance. Where the hell are you? Gabe, I've overridden the elevator security lockout. The power has been cut to the shaft. You should be able to open the doors manually, but I can't get an elevator to you. You're gonna have to get out the hard way. It's never easy. I want this place shut down. Do not, I repeat, do not let Logan out of here. If Leon gets the vaccine, her plasma will be useless to us. Yes, I know. Unit one, where are you? Checking the rooftop south of the lab complex. Logan's escaped. Find that chopper now. We'll find it. I'm on my way. Logan will be stopped, even if I have to do it myself. This is the part where uh, Gabe then has to make his way to the evac point where Teresa has a helicopter waiting for him so he can get the vaccine back to Leon and cure her from the side of the virus effects. And at this point, uh, the police are after Logan, the terrorists are after Logan. You assist the police officers whenever you can. Uh, you know, let it kill them. And you also have to take down the terrorists that are coming after you. There's an officer pinned down and uh, Gabe actually does help her and she actually accepts his help. For some reason, a female police officer tries to arrest Gabe and he's like, you know, I suggest you look after your partner before he bleeds to death because he's got a head wound and I think he pretty much dies there and then because I actually did shoot him in the head and nothing happened afterwards. Um, she tries to kill him because uh, he refused to cooperate with her. And then he goes around upstairs and then he comes back down again and finds that Lyle Stevens has the police officer, you know, in a headlock. And there and then, I think she realizes that uh, Gabe was not the bad guy, he's not a terrorist. <coughs> but uh, she tries to, you know, he tries to bargain with us. He puts his gun down, you know, and puts his hands up, trying to save the officer's life. But uh, he kills the officer anyway. And then there's an explosion, and Gabe falls through the floor. Teresa, I'm on the street. The city has an army of SWAT teams heading your way. Looks like the agency's going to war. Give me your location, I'm going to come pick you up. Negative. Damn it, Gabe. Your face is plastered on the wall of every police precinct in the country, remember? You're a wanted terrorist. These cops will shoot first and ask questions later. Don't worry about the SWAT guys. I'll stay out of their way. I ran into a hostage in the labs and gave him your location. You have to stay there and watch for him. He might still make it. All right. I hear you. Yeah, that's what you said at the Expo Center. Hey, I listen to you. Just don't always do what you say. Right. <laughs> Teresa, the agency's shutting down streets everywhere. See if you can find an open route for me. Copy that. I'm picking up SWAT radio traffic. There are officers pinned down by sniper fire. I'll see what I can do. Hang in there, Ross! I'm on my way! <laughs> no! Got it. Found it. That SWAT team holding up? They're coming under heavy fire. On my way. Freeze! Sarge, I've got the terrorists. Send backup. Stop. Throw down your weapon. Place your hands behind your head and lie down.
Who are you? Doesn't matter. Give me a sit rep. My partner's been down in that building. Two snipers have the courtyard sealed off and I can't get to him. Right. You advance and I'll lay down cover fire. Understood? I'm moving. I'll stay back here to get a clean shot at him. Move fast. I'm gonna lay down suppressing fire. Should keep him down. Okay, I'm clear. Move up now. I'll cover you. Jack, can you hear me? Jack, backup's on the way. Hang on. Ugh. Good luck. Stop. I can't let you leave. I'm sorry. Drop your weapon and place your hands on the ground in front of you. Listen, I don't have time for this and you're out of ammo. So I suggest you look after your partner before he bleeds to death. I'm on my way to your location now. Any sign of chance? No. They must have finished him in the labs. Out. Chance, I'm sorry. Teresa, we're the... Drop your gun, Logan. You don't want to see an innocent cop's brain splattered all over the walls, do you? Stevens. Now! Don't do it. He's gonna kill me anyway. So now we murder innocent police officers? You should have listened to her, Logan. In the next level, uh, you're in the sewers. Teresa planted explosives because she knew something was up. And she did that there to get Gabe out of the predicament. Again, loses his gear. She gives him an A45 handgun and you get a new set of weapons that you didn't have in the previous level. And you basically just make your way through the sewers to try and get to the garage where Lyle Stevens is. Teresa, following orders as usual, I see. I got your location from Subvocals. Found some C4 in the chopper. Wanted to see if I still knew how to use it. I'd say you passed pretty well. I lost all my gear in that blast. Now I'm going to need a weapon. Here's a 45. These sewer tunnels pass directly under the streets and have an outlet in the parking garage basement. I'm behind you all the way. Gabe, stay close. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go. Oh yeah! Agency training's really coming in handy now. do without me. We're really scaling back the agency payroll. There's a couple ways to kill the last demon. There's a part where a van, you have to think fast here, is coming at you and it's literally, you have to, you may as well just run <coughs> and roll past it because if you just stand, stop and look, you know, if you take one second to do that, you're going to get hit by it or you're going to get blown up or both. So you might as well just run and roll past it and run as far as you can. Whenever you catch Lyle Stevens, he's like, damn you, Logan. And then you basically have the option to shoot him in the head there. Or you can wait for him to get up and goes, uh, he says something like idiots. And you can kill him after he does that there. But if you wait, he'll kill Teresa first and then he'll kill you. So it's easier to just shoot him while he's on the ground. Or if you're like me and take a risk, let him get up and think he has the upper hand whenever he doesn't. Whenever you already anticipate that there he played before. Gabe. Have your men secure the garage. I'll be at Logan's chopper. There's Logan! There they are! Get him! Damn, he's hard to kill. Stay close. It's going to be a firefight getting out of here. Stevens, let's see some of that agency training. Call off your men and we can settle this between us. Very macho, Logan. I don't think so. Rule one of war, superior numbers will win the day. You're outmatched, Logan. This time you won't escape. Move! Gabe, look out! Come here, Gabe. I got a plan. There's too many of them holed up in that landing. I'll smoke them out while you finish them off. Do it. Split up. I'll take the stairs, you try the ramps. Radio if you find Stevens. Got it. Damn you, 
you, Logan? You don't want to kill me, Logan. I'm still useful to you. You... You're too late. The vaccine... She's dead. You're wrong, Stevens. I have the vaccine. I've saved my partner. And you're just another dead agent. Well, that's it. The end of the agency. Somehow I doubt it. Come on. Let's get this vaccine to Leon. Then after that there at the final level, you're on the rooftop of the garage, helicopters there, and sorry about started, and Teresa's like, you know what the hell? And it turns out decent chance was the guy that uh, was um betraying you. It all makes sense that the agency knew where Gabe was and what he was doing on the mountain because he was the one feeding them information. <laughs> That's why, you know, whenever you're on the mountains, at every single corner, the spooks, you know, had that all their ambushes set up, and they were ready to kill him, and, you know, Gabe still, even with chance there, still <laughs> managed to get past them all, because he's a guerrilla warfare expert, you know, he's not stupid, he knows how to do this, and he, he did have a funny feeling in the labs, that uh, he had a suspicion that Chance might have been a traitor, but he couldn't necessarily prove it, so Chance guns down Teresa. And I think they intended for Teresa to be dead because they did retcon and bring her back to the third game. And if you're in that level, you can't shoot her in the head and it doesn't come up mission fail or mission perimeter fail or anything out there. What the hell? Who started the chopper? Gabe, look out! Teresa! Oh. I'm wearing full body armor, Gabe. You can't hurt me. Chance. You don't sound surprised. I'm not. All the time in Colorado, the agency seemed to know what I was doing before I did. Our route down the mountain, my direction on the highway, the train, and the labs. You were dressed in a hospital gown so they could lock me up with you in case the drugs didn't work. No secrets from old friends. When the transport plane arrived, I set you up to secure it, and Leon got captured. You turned her over to them. I told her where she was and secured the test subject for transport. Just doing my job, Logan. That's all. My job. Your job? Men under your command trusted you with their lives. I eliminated expendable targets in the line of duty as per my orders. I know the rhetoric. It doesn't change what you are. What we are, Logan. How many men did you kill to get here? All of them, they were just doing their job. Do they deserve to die? I'm just doing what I was trained to do. Yeah, so am I. Enough of this. Get that out of my face. Ugh. Let's dance! So what you have to do, you have to go to the helicopter and <clears throat> pick up, you know, this like new shotgun. And it's the only time in that game you actually, have, you actually get to use it. And you have like, like that level is literally like two minutes long. You have that done in literally 60 seconds. You literally could. Um, whenever Chance is shooting at you, again, he's wearing the full body armor. Uh, whenever you shoot at him, like the F-45 or the M-16, he doesn't shoot back at you. So and he's also using the same gun that you're going to be using against him. And it does take a lot of damage. And it's like a shotgun, but it goes boom, 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 boom. Whereas the other shotguns were like boom, boom, boom. It took damage, but it took longer to kill you. But this one here, you know, you have to be really quick. There's also a flak jacket armor as well if you really need it. So basically you have to shoot Chance into the propeller of the helicopter. That's what you have to do. It's meant to slice his head off, but back then, of course, probably too graphic to show that there. And probably didn't know how to get away with showing that there. You know, how they pull that off. So blood just literally comes out. So it's almost like a throat was just slashed, but his head was really kind of it was cut off. The type of Kevlar armor he's wearing, the bullets you have won't do anything. Not their shotgun you're firing on him, all it does is push him back. Or pushing forward, it just moves, and then after that, there you beat the game. Too bad about Teresa. Looks like you did as good a job saving her as you did with Leon. Teresa, 
I'm sorry. The activities of a little-known government agency, which allegedly had terrorist dealings that far surpassed those of the Iran-Contra affair during the Reagan presidency. We go live now to Secretary of State Vince Haddon. The President has ordered a full investigation of this so-called black box agency and has vowed to fully cooperate with congressional authorities. Rest assured that we will get to the bottom of this. I can answer no more questions at this time. And now a story from northern China, where tensions rose as Russian troops rolled into the province of Heilongjiang. I can't believe she's gone. She'd be alive today if we hadn't dragged her into Teresa this. died the way she lived, doing what she believed in. In any case, you could hardly have stopped her. No one could. She gave her life for mine. How can I live with that? The same way I will. By surviving. By not giving up. By fighting for what you believe in. It's not over yet. Sir, we have them. You want us to move in? No! I want your men out of here now! Yes, sir. We will finish this operation another day. When the administration falls as a Secretary of State, you will become President. We could have ended it here. Perhaps. But I am not finished with him yet. I have something else in mind for Gabriel Logan. <laughs> I only replay disc one and the rest of the missions, most of the missions are on disc two. So um, I grew to like Chance and, you know, admire him. I, I grew to really like him. And then you find out that he betrays you in the end. And it was sad, you know. Bastard. You can tell like, he was really jealous of Logan. He wanted to be Gabe Logan, but you know, he's an asshole. Whereas Gabe, you know, would never ever do the things Jason Chance ever did. I think I've said what I wanted to say with 742. Bye bye.